Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is the King James Version 1611. We don't practice religion in a sense of how men understand religion. We practice law and nation. All right. So religion. If you if you look into the de uh, the ancient definition of the word religion, religion, right, which means to buy it back to the custom of your ancestors. My religion, that, the religion that I'm talking about. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, listen, listen. Religion. Listen, no, 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 don't tell me, no, listen, man. Listen. We're talking about organized religion, like you're saying. That's what I'm saying. We agree with you. We don't, we're not like that. No, we practice law and nation. When you get into religion, that's organized by man. So we don't deal with that. Alright? We don't practice that. The Bible is not a religious book. They took it and made them religion. It is a book of history. That's right. Here's where I may be wrong, so I'm just asking this question just to learn. Is that a pentagram or what is that? No, a pentagram is five. That's an hexagram. Okay. A five pointed star is a pentagram, which is Satan and Baphomet. The six pointed star is just a symbol. It's a shield. It's not nothing negative. People have took it and made it to the things that are negative. They, they take it and make it to a witch path and different things. But I just took it and it's a symbol. Right? Anybody can take a symbol to make it. They make it put on it. But it's a symbol. We don't worship that. It becomes evil if we worship it. We make it into an idol. See, because what I've taught myself, kind of, um, I don't, like, I, I wasn't really indoctrinated. I was more, like, socially, like, convicted from everything. So I just kind of, like, taught myself. I've never really opened a book of any type of religion. Right. Yeah, so I don't, like, I may be wrong. You know, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I may be wrong, but I may not be wrong. So I'm just kind of going on faith here. I don't really follow anything that kind of pushes a little agenda. Like, kind of like when you said, this is a book you should be reading. Right. That's something that I'm kind of against. I feel like if there is a higher power, he gave me my mind so I can make up things on my own. You know, and I really told how these things should be done. We are being distracted. We are so close from... Oh, let me, let me ask you listen, listen, listen. We are so close from a civil war. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. You said you want to look at things from your own perspective. Mm. That's the only thing the Lord said to that. Oh, that's fine. You gotta seek out the truth for your own self. So now, how the most high Christ and the angels guide you and deal with you in your walk, that's for you. We're here to just give a message. Whether you receive that message is on you. We're not pulling out an AK-47 and saying, you better listen to us. Actually, we're standing here and people come to us. This is New York, you got the right to walk up and down wherever, so right. people come to us. So when they come to us and engage us, we give them the answers as the Holy Spirit has given to us. Now it's up to you whether you're gonna receive it or not. But we are not out here with a bazooka saying, you better receive it, I'm going to blow a, middle, a hole in the middle of your heart. No. We just give the message, you receive it, you receive it, you don't, you don't. Don't shoot the message. Right, God, brother, read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Go ahead. Trust in the Lord with all okay. thine heart. So the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Go ahead. And lead not unto thine own understanding. Read again for the top. The book of Proverbs, yeah. chapter 3, verse hey, Shalom, 5. Hey, Shalom, call me a shot. Right, go ahead. Shalom. Right. Right. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. The Lord said, trust in that. That's all right. That's on him. That's on him. Like I said, nobody begging him to stay. Nobody put the, uh, the 847 to his head and said, you better listen. He's not with your advice. Right, he took my advice. Right, he said, I don't want to hear this. And he left. Right, God, brother, read again for the time. The book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. I actually like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you made your yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're not yoking no dude up and saying, nigga, nigga, you want me in this one. I'm going to say, oh, man, can't you speak to me now? Right, go ahead, brother, read it. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, <laughs> and lean not unto thy own understanding. See that? You know what the problem is? Everybody want to follow what they want to follow. Yes. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I am not out here to force nobody to accept nothing. So go walk your walk. See, that's the thing about it. Everybody, there's a lie out here about Israelites that we force our beliefs on people. No, we don't. Brother, the whole time we standing here, do we make anybody stand here? We just teach them, right? They choose to come up, right? This is big, beautiful Times Square. It's a beautiful late summer night. They can go do whatever they want to do. We don't make nobody, because that's a lie that's being pushed out there on us. Oh, the Israelites always try to force somebody, uh, force somebody to see what they see, right? They gonna force it on them. Right, come on, man. How can, listen, first of all, we don't have a, a, a legal right to force anything on anybody. We don't have a legal right. You got women scorned that will leave the nation and then go talk bad about brother. I, my my 10 years in a cult, I was forced to be an Israelite wife. 
Well. Your ass wasn't forced to do nothing. It's just that was your husband, and he taught you the commandments that the Most High told him to teach you. Now, if it didn't work out, and the, the brother was off, whatever happened, but don't talk about you as forced. We tell you, thus saith the Lord. Whatever the Most High say, that's what we follow, and that's what you should follow. But if you don't do it like this, so I see, not see the pride in his eyes. Right. That's on right, then that's on you. Give me Proverbs 16, 18. That's on him then. Right? Proverbs 16, 18. We're not forcing nothing on nobody. We're just teaching. Right? Whether you receive it or not. You don't, you don't like what we're saying? Go, of, uh, go celebrate 9 11 weekend. But it's 9 11 weekend, right? Go celebrate that. Go uh, ride behind the. Uh, the 10,000 motorcycles that came through here earlier. Or go, or go march behind the big NYPD and FDNY parade that came up here earlier. Now all these 9-11 all these weekend celebrations, you don't want to hear this? Go over there with them. I'm sure the motorcycles are somewhere in the city. About 10,000 damn bikes came from here earlier. All right, so go celebrate with them. Right, you don't want to hear this? We are not trying to uh, uh, force this on you. Go down to Ground Zero tomorrow with Hillary Clinton and cry for the 4,000 people that died. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah, well, no, but I'm saying, I, I guess that's what they want. Maybe it's a cry. He's probably not from the state. Maybe that's what he gave him to To go see Hillary and cry for 9 11. That's all right with me. You ain't got to be forced to accept nothing here. Right, God, brother, read that. Cry going for, cry going before destruction. That's what it is with a lot of our people. Cry. Right, go up for destruction, come on. And a haughty spirit. And a haughty spirit, go ahead. Before a fall. Before a fall, that, um, that one is good. Give me um, uh, Proverbs 14 and seven. I want that one too. That, that's what I really wanted. Give me Proverbs 14 and seven. And then there's another one on pride in uh, Isaiah. Right, but give me that one, Proverbs 14 and seven, me. Go from the presence of a foolish man. Look, go from the presence of a foolish man. Sometimes you can go away from somebody without even leaving. The spirit made him flee because he's a foolish man. Only a foolish man would say, ah, money now, money now. Take it. Take it. Listen to that money. Crazy. Yeah. Right, go ahead. Read. <laughs> when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The Lord said, when you don't perceive in him the lips of knowledge. I knew the man. That's why I was going to read Proverbs 3 and 5, and then he could basically kick rocks yeah. from there. But I seen the spirit on him when he kept trying to talk over him. That's a telltale sign. Right, so read again, Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man. So read one last scripture to this man and let him go. I'm coming right back. All right, sister. Right, go from the presence of a foolish man. Go ahead. When thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. When you don't perceive the lips of knowledge in him. You know what I'm saying? Go from his presence. Let him flee. Right, now give one more, Isaiah 2 and 12. That's the one I wanted. Isaiah 2. They all good, but I wanted that. You know, you got to flee from without actually flee. The spirit makes them flee. Right? You just you just you just hit them with that scripture. Right? That is fleeing from them. Right? But anyway, you know that's how people are. You can't, you know, you know, but like I said, we're not out here to, to, to force them to stop doing nobody. We don't even have the power to do that right now. Not now, the time is coming where it's gonna be look, repent and come to the most high or die. That that time is coming. Oh no, don't don't get it twisted. That time is coming, but we don't have that power right now. All right, God, brother, read that. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up. Yeah, see that? You're in the middle of a conversation with a man just walking. You know what you're saying? Proud and lofty, man. Didn't even say, well, let me at least hear this point out, and then I'll go. That's on you, though, right? Come on. And he shall be brought low. What did the Lord say? He shall be brought low. And he's going to be brought low. The day of the Lord is near upon all that are proud and lofty and lifted up, and they're going to be brought low. That's all right. Be proud, man. Right? That's what we was trying to tell the Simeon brother when we first started earlier. Like uh, Yaiqua was bringing out to him, look, this gospel is going to be taught in the whole world. You the one that didn't listen. No, you can't say we wasn't here and, and, and do our job. Because the Most High got it recorded. The angel's gonna flash it back for you, remember? <laughs> September 11th, that night. <laughs> that late Saturday night going into Sunday morning, September 11th, 2016. You were standing there, and they was trying to tell you. You actually even asked questions. But you got proud and walked away. The angel's gonna play it right before them. and say, you forgot that night already? You had your...